Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is November 30th, and right now we are looking at the infrared satellite imagery. You can see the state of California here to the right, Hawaiian Islands bottom left. You can see our system off the coastline here. It might actually bring a little bit of light precipitation, especially across some of the Sierra Nevada as we go through the day today. It's not going to amount to much, but some of these clouds could keep some of the fog at bay over the next couple of days. That's the good news with it, but right now we still have some dense fog out there, and this is going to be a reoccurring theme over the next few days we're going to be dealing with some of these foggy conditions and we'll take a look at the extended forecast and we'll take a look at why we're in the regime that we are in you can see the ridge here across the west coast of north america and we'll see when we may be coming out of that but first things first, here's the visible satellite. You can kind of see that fog drifting around of San Joaquin Valley up, trying to get up towards Sacramento a bit here and kind of moving around right now. But these high clouds generally kind of trap heat a little bit and they can help reduce uh, the effects of the inversions at lower levels. So hopefully that is the case over the next couple of days. And this may even bring a little bit of precipitation with it. But again, not much to write home about. And kind of a closer look at that here, you can kind of see that fog in the lower levels bubbling and moving around there and trapped at the surface. Uh, a look at storm reports of course we don't have much going on right now so we don't have anything out there to look at but if we take a look at eureka national weather service there is still the beach hazard statements through 3 p.m monday for the sneaker wave activity so don't turn your back on the ocean you guys know the drill this is san francisco we got the dense fog advisor that does include stockton here and it does get up towards sacramento as well and it does go down towards merced and fresno some of the valley areas and this is going to be again a reoccurring theme over the next few days now this is sacramento national weather service check it out look at this freezing fog advisory from in northeast california just to the uh east of south lake tahoe and does include the reno area and again the dense fog advisory as well and this goes all the way down on in through <clears throat> you can see bakersfield at the very tail end of that and across some of the lower elevations there now looking at the european model if we scroll through the day today you can see a little bit of precipitation kicking up and some of that even showing up over the valley a little bit but that again this is not much and that, that should be wrapping up as we go on through the day sunday but you know hopefully this verifies at least it's something falling there across the higher terrain and this absolutely boring weather pattern that we've been dealing with uh, looks to remain with us here as we go on in towards the end of the week but again we're going to take a look here in a moment to see how long this is going to last and here we go with uh last night's <clears throat> artificial intelligence the european model uh, again maybe just a tiny bit of precipitation with that system off the coastline that is decaying and weakening and then we start to bring maybe some systems back into the pacific northwest through the extended we keep looking to see what may be coming for california but look at this man we are just locked into this ridging here across a lot of the state and then we go into the through the extended and there's maybe an inside slider out there as we get towards the mid portion of december but not much in the way of weather and i, I do want to show you this here before we move on this is the european this is fresno and you can see what is going on at the surface of course you're dealing with the colder temperatures trapped in that inversion warmer temperatures just above the surface once you go up a few hundred feet or a couple thousand feet it does get warmer and if i play through this you can kind of see how this inversion just hangs out as we go through sunday morning there's monday morning you see the dew point and the temperature starting to meet there that means condensation which would be in the form of fog as we go through monday morning and again with the warmer air trapped above just kind of adding to that inversion and we continue that on all the way on through tuesday morning <laughs> and towards wednesday morning as well now taking a look at wind speeds here not everybody of course is locked in this fog you can see we do have some offshore wind component here to this and some northerly winds across some of the desert areas of course they are not strong but they can help bring some ventilation to some areas that's why we're not seeing dense fog everywhere of course and, and but the valley areas you can see as we go through sunday morning not much wind there to stir the san joaquin valley and up towards the sacramento valley a little bit of northerly winds here showing up but yeah you can see that we're not doing much in the way of wind as we go on in through uh, the day Monday was shown there. This is the high resolution model, so it goes out 60 hours. And if we take a look at visibility, the only good thing about that system out here, really, I mean, we were wishing it was bringing more precipitation and whatnot to Southern California, but it should somewhat limit some of the fog formation here, at least through tomorrow. But then as we go on in towards Monday morning, you see some of the redevelopment of that fog there. And then we go through Tuesday morning, so hopefully the, some of the clouds are keeping that to a minimum. But yeah, the pattern is stuck as we go on in through next week. And look at this 16-day precipitation anomaly for the West Coast on the GFS. This is hot off the presses this morning. And yeah, we are locked in here, folks. Um, but the good news is, is, you know, when you go through some of these patterns here, of course, there's always something more active waiting downstream for you. 
And if we take a look at the wider view of the Pacific Ocean, what may be driving this? Well, there's the Hawaiian Islands here to the bottom, uh, center bottom, and then you got Alaska there. There's California to the far right. Japan would be to the far left. We're looking at the jet stream about 39,000 feet, and you can see this continued ridging again across the west coast of North America. You can see where the strong jet stream is here across some of the western Pacific Ocean. Tries to sneak out towards the central Pacific Ocean at times, but all that does is continue uh, the ridging here and amplifying that ridge as we go on in through December 7th. You can see again that powerful jet stream just continues there as we scroll off in towards, you know, you're looking out towards December 9th there and that just continues. So why is that happening? Well, this probably has something to do with we are in a little bit of a La Nina here and so it does reflect that but the ridge is a little bit too far west to bring down any systems into uh, the west coast of North America and that's probably due to this phase of the Madden Julian Oscillation. This is kind of a, a tropical influence that moves around the planet every 30 to 60 days and it's emerging right now out of from the Indian Ocean back out across the, the maritime continent which is right here where Australia is, just north is the maritime continent that you got Japan. So this kind of affects, and it's kind of amplifying the jet stream here probably across the Western Pacific, at least probably through the mid portion of December, maybe even a little bit further after that. So that's probably what's driving this ridging as we go. And this is another way to look at the forecast. We've got the GFS on the left and the European on the right. And again, we're kind of in this phase uh, phase that makes a weather inactive here on uh, the west coast of North America. So that's probably enhancing some of this ridging in the meantime. But of course, this does move and it does change. So eventually our turn will come. Now, uh, looking here at 500 millibar heights, this is the European extended control run here. So we're not going to go out with just total Debbie Downer here. <laughs> we're going to take a look off into the extended forecast, although I better be careful with what I say there. We won't get locked in this ridge. I don't want to show you that all the way on in through January. But this model goes out 46 hours. You can kind of see this inside slider moving some port sometime in the uh, mid period of December and then maybe some additional systems there. But you can kind of see this ridge still hanging with us all the way on and through December 23rd. But as we get towards Christmas Eve and Christmas, we start to maybe change things up a bit, a bit again here. Of course, we're not going to remain locked in to just absolutely no rainfall for you know, the entire winter coming up. So eventually this will change. But you can see there would be Christmas here. So maybe we'll start to get some systems as we go through the later portion of December. And you can see some interesting stuff here hanging off our coastline as we go towards the end of the month. But it, it's kind of a sad state of affairs that we have to look this far out in the weeklies there on the extended forecast of the European model. But, you know, just kind of showing you that things will change as we go through the extended at some point. Now, here's the 6 to 10 day above average across a lot of the West. And for some areas trapped in the inversion, this may not be the case, you know, because temperatures could actually be below average if you're trapped in a foggy regime for this time period. And here's the 6 to 10 day. Look at that below normal signal here. Shouldn't be any surprise after what we just looked at. And this is the 8 to 14 day. And then we bring the 8 to 14 day precipitation as well with the below normal all the way through mid-December. But yeah, we'll just keep breaking things down. We'll see when this is going to break. How long are we going to be dealing with this pattern? And we'll break it all down again tomorrow. Hope you guys are having a good day otherwise. And I will talk to you guys then.